of course. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another vintage collection action figure review. This time we got to uh, we got a Boba Fett weekend coming up. We're kicking off with the new vintage collection VC 186 Boba Fett. Now uh, this was originally slated to come out on a different card uh, with the orange name pill and the orange background and a sort of a close-up cropped image of Boba Fett here. Um, but obviously this is this is the way it should be. This is the way it was back in the 80s. So uh, Hasbro went back and revised it. I'm not sure whether many of those orange card backs actually got out uh, into production. Believe We believe so, but uh, none have yet to have shown up, so we can only wait and see. But uh, this looks fantastic. This is a great action figure. I did get two because I need to keep one carded. Um, and this one looks absolutely beautifully mint. And uh, yeah, need to get a star case or something for these to protect it. So let's check out the open one down over on the table. All right, here is the Vintage Collection Boba Fett number 186 in all his glory. And by golly, this is an absolutely fantastic figure. Absolutely fantastic. The mold is absolutely just 99% perfect. There is one very small detail, which I believe Hasbro have already fixed. And uh, Boba Fett's usually got a little uh, little signal sort of thing there, which is little tracking signal sort of thing. You know, a little illuminated red LED light switch sort of thing there on his chest. Uh, they've, this is completely absent on this figure. So uh, apparently they have gone into production with the fix. Um, so... Hopefully we will see them at some point, but uh, for the most part, I'm not too fussy at all with this one. Um, you know, it's such a small scale that it's, you know, doesn't really matter and you can hold his blaster up and you're not even going to worry about it. So I'm more than happy with this how it is. Um, yeah, it's just a stunning looking figure, like aesthetically pleasing. All the colours, I've always been partial to the Return of the Jedi one more than the Empire version. I just like the reds, I like the jetpacks, the blues, you know, all that cool stuff. And yeah, it's been a long time coming for an updated Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. So accessory-wise, he does come with his blaster rifle here, which looks really nice, nice and weathered. Really nice, sort of clean sculpt. There's sort of nice sort of rusty looking weathering on it. Looks looks good. Seeing a bit of action. We'll take a look at him himself. The other accessory is, of course, his jetpack, which is removable. And uh, I've noticed this a lot on some of the newer figures is that they're they're staying away from the sort of circle pins. Um, I guess the bonus of that is when it's got a flat surface like this pinhole and pegged uh, has, is it's not going to twist. Um, so you're not going to have that twisting and looking funny and, you know, damaging it potentially. I don't think it would, but, you know, it's just a nice little touch, I think. That's uh, a good design feature. If you wanted to glue that in, you're guaranteed to have it in straight. Um, it's, it's a nice snug fit, so I'm probably not going to worry about that. Another nice addition is this soft goods here. I think this is really well done. Um, I feel like the Empire one, um, which was released, you know, nearly 10 years ago in the vintage collection, was 10 years ago. Um, the soft goods was a lot bigger. Um, and this one seems to sit really nicely. Um, this hugs really nicely underneath the, uh, underneath the jet pack there and sort of stays out of the way. It looks kind of nice. That's quite good. All the sort of weathering and details on the jet pack. You know, it's basically all over this figure. Great weathering and sort of detail. Uh, the sort of chip paints on his uh, on his armor, particularly on the helmet there, the infamous dent, so all the scratches and stuff. There's a few sort of nicks and dents, paint scratches on the uh, shoulder piece there. Nice little decal there, shines well. There. So we've had some Boba Fett's that have had these sort of wires here for his flamethrower have sort of been an issue, but it looks like they've combated that by making them a little bit longer, so they sort of fold up that way. 
but yeah, it becomes sort of really nice and snug that way. Got these sort of Wookiee pelt braids. I doubt these are a new sculpt. They very well could be for the purpose of this figure, but I'm not 100% sure on that. These sort of pouches around there look great. The sort of red strapping around the around the mid there. I like these sort of pouches. And the sort of red belt continues around the back. Looks good. Legs nicely sculpted. The knee darts look good. He actually went to the trouble of putting those little silver touches on the, on his tools that he has in those pouches down there. And the boots. They look pretty good too. It's a really nice looking figure. Underneath the head, you can sort of see there is a head sculpt under there. That's uh, actually a really nicely formed helmet around that head sculpt. I'd be interested to see if anyone has actually removed the helmet from this head sculpt underneath to see what's underneath. So I dare say there will be a Mandalorian appearance Boba Fett coming at some stage or another and they'd want to have that same head sculpt ready to go for a removable helmet. So I, dare, I, I dare say we'll get exactly the same thing. Uh, the only probably one of the other sort of minor flaws is the rangefinder is static it doesn't move down um, that would absolutely be a highlight if this figure had that ability but uh it's okay because it looks good up it doesn't actually move it in jedi so hopefully with the uh mandalorian appearance boba fett a slightly older fett they can uh, make that happen because they can do it can do it the last boba fett return of the jedi figure had it and that is a that is a very old figure now. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one, guys. I, I This could be the vintage collection figure of the year so far for me. Um, this is just absolutely fantastic. I uh, very recently, over the last year or so, really come out of the FET closet. <laughs> I, was in, I was in FET denial, and I've spoken that about that a fair, fair few times recently. Um, I am a well and truly open FET fanatic now. <laughs> There's no denying it. He's a badass. He still died. He still went out like a punk in Jedi, but now that he didn't die, that's even better. <laughs> it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, awesome figure. Love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it one of those. That's a thumbs up. You can't see my thumb, but it is up. And hit the subscribe button if you'd love to subscribe to my channel and see plenty more videos coming. And hit the notification bell so more videos get delivered straight to you as they are released. Thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Always.